What's up YouTube? It's your girl Jaquela and I'm back with another YouTube video and I am coming to you today to talk to you about some things that other people might deal with that I used to deal with and I'm just trying to give you guys some good tips. So I'm going to talk to you about anxiety and depression. Um, I'm actually somebody that deal with anxiety and depression. I just learned how to deal with it a little bit better since I got older. Um, when I was, I think I was in the 8th grade, I had started having anxiety attacks and I honestly did not know what it was at the time because I was so young and I had never ever, you know, heard of anxiety before. And I remember one day I was actually at my grandma's, my granny, um, I was at her house in the back then I believe. and. Out of nowhere, all I could remember, I was watching TV, and then randomly, I just started feeling my heart started racing really fast, and I really didn't know what was wrong with me. All I did was cry. I was like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I told my mama that I needed to go to the hospital because I didn't know what was wrong with me. I felt like I was having a heart attack. I felt like I was dying. I honestly just don't know what happened at that moment. I don't even know how it came about. So, my mom finally had took me to the hospital after we left my grandma's house, and we went to the hospital, and they told me, oh, you're fine, but you suffer with anxiety and depression. I was like, what is anxiety and depression? Because at the time, I had no idea what it was. I had never even heard of anxiety. I knew what depression was, but I didn't know what anxiety was. And I was like, anxiety and depression, okay. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, how did that come about? Like, how did it even just start coming out of nowhere? So, I honestly kind of figured it out that my anxiety and depression started coming from a lot of stuff that was going on in this world. Like, people I know, like, friends and stuff happening to people. It kind of scared me a lot to make me think negative stuff about myself and just think negative stuff in general. At the time when they told me that I had anxiety, I was like, okay. But I didn't know what type of anxiety that I had. Because, you know, as for people that have anxiety and depression, we know it's a lot of different types of it. It's, it's general anxiety. It's social anxiety. It's panic attacks. You know, it's a whole bunch of different things. It, it all affects you in a different way. So, yeah, I went through that for a long period of time. Every day I would just cry in my room. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to do nothing. I just wanted to lay in my room. And then when I did eat something, I would only take like a bite out of my food and say I was full because I just absolutely did not have an appetite. So, about that time... I started going to counseling and when I went to counseling, it actually helped me. I went to counseling and I got into the word of God. I got into the word of God by my grandma giving me a Bible to read. And I just opened it up to the first page of the Bible and I started reading from there. And then I started learning different things about my Bible. And it was one page that I opened up to in my Bible. It said the power of faith. I started reading that same verse every day. The power of faith. And it was just saying have faith in God and not have any doubts in God. Because when you have doubts, that's when things don't work out. If you have faith and believe in God, you will see that he will work miracles. So... I started reading it every day, every day, every day, every day, and praying every day and every day and every day. And I remember at first when I was praying, I was like telling my granny them, why is it not working? I'm praying, but nothing is working. I'm praying, but nothing is working. What is wrong with me? I'm praying, but nothing is working. Nothing is happening. My granny said, Ja'Kayla, my mama said, Ja'Kayla, when you pray, you got to have faith in God. So I started praying. And I started having faith in God as I was praying. I always believed in God and I always knew that God was real. 
but my faith wasn't as strong as it should have been at a young age. So I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and started going to church and I met a friend. Um, her name was Jessica. She got me into the church where she went to and we started going and then I started going to church on Wednesday nights and I would not miss a Wednesday because I loved church that much. I did not want to miss. And, um, you know, sooner or later, God worked his miracles and I just got better. I wasn't sad. I wasn't depressed anymore. I was happy as ever. Happy with life. And I moved on and went on with my life. Then, randomly, years and years later, at the age of 21, I believe, my anxiety and my depression came back. And I just didn't know why it came back. And it hit me 10 times worse than it did the first time. And I was like, why is my anxiety coming back? Why? Like, what did I do wrong? Why is it coming back? Why is it coming back? Why is it coming back? And I realized my anxiety came back because I feel like guys was kind of like trying to take advantage of me. People would tell me negative things about myself and I would tell myself negative things about myself in my head. I would also, also sorry, compare myself to other people, other people on Facebook, um, other family members also because I feel like I was not good enough. Now, I'm telling you this because a lot of people don't know how I really felt about it. They had no idea that I was actually comp comparing myself, sorry to other family members, I felt like I was not good enough because a lot of my family members went to college and I did not go to college. I did go to school. You know, I went to TCC for a little while and my anxiety started bothering me. So I just stopped going. So, so I did go to college for a little bit, but college is not for everybody. And I finally realized that so the thing was, I saw all my cousins going to college. They're not that much older than me. They all like two, two years older than me, maybe a year older than me. They all went to college. They all graduated from universities and all these other things. And when I would go around them, I didn't even talk to them because I just felt like I was not good enough to talk to them. And yes, I am getting emotional because I do not tell people about the way I feel about that type of thing. I just, it hurt my feelings because my cousins, they really just didn't talk to me. That Like, I don't know. They really just didn't talk to me. So I kind of felt like bad. And when they would talk to me, I would just shut down because I had no idea. I didn't even know what to say to them. So... Yeah, um, yeah, I I was shut down because I didn't know what to say to them. I do have select cousins that do, you know, talk to me, check up on me, and then I just have them cousins that don't talk to me at all. And now that I got older, I realize that it's okay. If you don't want to talk to me, you don't want to talk to me. You don't have to talk to me. I, I still love all my family. I know they don't mean no harm. It was just me thinking all these negative things about myself in my head. But um, I'm getting much better than what I was before. I'm trying to... Um, I'm finding myself. It's not I'm trying. I am finding myself. And I have <clears throat> accepted myself for who I am. And for anybody that's going through anxiety and depression, just pray about it and have faith in God. I know some people don't want to get on, you know, anxiety medicine. I was that type at first. I did not want to take my anxiety medicine at all. I did not want to take my anti-depression medicine at all. But my mom and my granny... And my, just, we all just said, Ja'Kayla, just try it. You never know. It might make you feel better. And at first, I would start my medicine. 
I start taking my medicine, then I stop taking it. And then I'm like, oh, I feel I feel bad. I feel sad again. What's wrong with me? This medicine is not working. But the problem was I was not letting it work. I wasn't letting it get into my system. So, yes, I, I take my medicine now. And for anybody that's going through that, and if your doctor give you medicine, take it because it's going to help you feel much better. It really is. And sooner or later, when you start praying and having faith in God and everything, then eventually you might not need your medicine anymore. But if you got some medicine, it's because God wants you to take that medicine so you can get better. And then you never know, you might get off that medicine. So for my people with anxiety and depression, just stay strong and hold on. And don't let nobody tell you negative things about yourself. And don't put up with any guys that try to change you to make you be like the person they want you to be. If they like you, they're going to like you for who you are, not because of the person. They, they, they're they not going to try to change you. They're going to love you. They're going to like you for who you are. And don't also do not try to do other things to fit in with other people. Just be yourself. And if they like you and y'all be friends, y'all be friends. But if not, don't worry about them. And that's pretty much all I had to say on this. This that's pretty much all I had to say on this video. Um, I know I really don't have that many subscribers on my YouTube account, but it's okay. Um, I know eventually I will get more subscribers on my YouTube videos and on my YouTube account. But I pray that you guys please like and subscribe my video. I mean, like and, to, and subscribe to my channel. Sorry. And just show me and my fiance support, support. I know he doesn't be on here very much, but he will start being on here. And that's all I got to say. Bye.